quite often the QA professionals or the test automation professionals ask me this question, uh, Madan tell me with the wider adoption of RPA into almost all the organization, what will be the future of test automation tool? Really RPA is going to replace the test automation tool or it will sit as a complementary into the overall test strategy uh, the landscape. So, here is the talk I wanted to talk you what will happen to the future of test automation tool with the wider adoption of RPA. So, guys my name is Madan and I am the RPA expert and helping the community to learn RPA and AI into the digital disruption age. So, before I give uh, straightforward uh, the answer what will be the future of test automation tools in the age of RPA, let us little deep dive and understand uh, why test automation tools and how it works. So, if you ask me test automation tools are being used to create the regression suites that helps to validate the feature into production and that ensures the entire features are being intact. So, primarily test automation tools are used to accelerate the overall development processes in order to find the early defect into the production and DevOps actually acts as a delivery vehicle into the entire overall process. That is how the uh, test automation tools and that is the overall objective and the process and trust me uh, the scripts used to be very very complex it is very really uh, the heavy scripts that runs into the delivery pipeline that is how it works. So, now uh, let us look at uh, the RPA. Uh, Principally, RPA is being used to automate, here it is also automate the, the processes into the, into the organization. If you look at both are the automation. However, test automation is used to validate the feature into production. RPA is being used to automate the processes uh, for the organization. For example, HR process, finance process. Uh, if you look at, at the characteristic both the characteristics are same. If you want to automate uh, any application you can automate using test automation, you can automate using RPA. Uh, the only difference, the only difference RPA is actually it is a platform where you can automate, you can touch upon the any underlying application uh, seamlessly without changing any approach or without changing any strategy, but however into test automation for windows it is a different unit application for web different uh, strategy for mainframe unit different strategy for citrix unit different strategy that is how it works. But otherwise the genesis is same genesis of RPA is the test automation only. So, now you understand right uh, both are automation tool the objective is different, but however it looks similar both you know uh, solve the almost similar kind of purpose, but now the bigger question comes here. Uh, really it will replace the answer it does not sounds very soon, but in the future there might be possibility looking at so many scriptless tool scriptless test automation tools hitting the industry. So, it might happen it might happen. So, we do not have to worry much about really it will replace or not replace, but here is the bigger questions without worrying too much really RPA will replace the test automation it will become the complementary my suggestion would be it would be mostly complementary it is it, not going to replace and I can see the two reasons. Number one the RPA tools are pretty pretty expensive as compared to test automation tools and number two uh, it is not only about the screen scrapping and uh, going into the presentation layer and pulling and pushing the data, but test scripts are very very, very complex and it is perform a lot of more activity. But yes, there are a lot of certain activity which uh, the test professionals do it. For example, QA activity, data preparation, UA testing, collaboration with the users, those are the things that can be definitely can be used using the, uh, the, the RPA tools, but still the prediction is very far away. But bigger question is this one and I wanted to ask from everybody here. Being the QA professionals, there might be possibility in the future the RPA may become one of the complementary tool into the overall test automation strategy that may happen and I feel the way RPA is being adopted and test community is gearing up it has really become the necessity and the need of the R 
for us and for QA professionals, for you also to upgrade, learn RPA and make complementary skill set into your overall the skill bucket that will really help you to give an edge and that will give you a, a, a complementary benefit when time will come when your unit will adopt RPA and move it forward. So uh, just a closing thought of course I do not see the current possibility of where RPA would be replacing the test automation tools but time is not very far away there might be possibility because now it has become the gateway to AI but the, the bigger uh, the plus point would be when we adopt and learn and bring RPA part of our complementary tool that will become really plus plus point for us being the QA professional in the year 2020. Thanks for watching the video and in next video I am going to talk about what is the difference between Selenium and RPA.